Um, human developments lead to overconsumption for both non renewables and renewable resources, which are crucial to human being. However, we will non renewable resource we advocate for the next generation. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to present the topic non renewable resource in terms of entire general tested. So, first, let me begin what, uh, what is the non renewable resource. Non renewable resources are limited resources and cannot be used sustainably. There are four main which are natural gas, coal, oil, and nuclear energy. Clearly, human de depends on non renewable resources and fossil fuel, accounting for over 80% of the entire amount of energy consumed globally each year. They are not only used for consumption, but also essential for the technological industry, such as being the components of the computers or mobile phone, and also for the software, self-driving cars or the blockchain. That would be significant for the next generations. However, a major issue of fossil fuels apart from their limitations is that they release a carbon dioxide into the atmosphere when they are combusted. This will be negatively affect to the environment, and if we are not carefully using the non renewable resource in sufficient amount, it might not be enough for the future generations. So, when talking about the next generation, they are intra and intergenerational justice. Intergenerational justice is a concern with fairness among individuals for the same generations and seek to provide justice among living humans. For instance, we are trying to improve our air quality to get a better health, but for the intergenerational justice is a primary concern with the obligations and responsibility that current generations have toward previous and future generations as well as the moral factors that should be taken into account while considering this duty and responsibility. For example, we try to zero emission to relieve the global warming. So the Berlin reports so are our common future introduced the notions of sustainable developments and explain how to accomplish it. It is most frequently recognized for its definitions of sustainable developments as development that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability for the future generations to meet their own needs. This definition includes the notions of need, which emphasize the objective of meeting the basic needs of the world, as well as the idea that technologies and social structure restrict the environmental ability to meet the world's current and future needs. So, how is this ethically relevant in the business context? There are two examples of the company that have concerns for both intra and intergenerational justice. The first company is John Deere. A company that sells farming equipment. The company concerned about their products contribution to the environment. Um, they produce a new product which can save the environment and also help customers save costs of food and time. For instance, Dundee launched C770 cotton harvester in 2021, which can save 20% food by using electric engine technology and the design of the machine. On cotton pickers and cotton slippers, the C770 lowered the amount of web used per power by 8% and 12% respectively. In 2022, the companies aim to eliminate the environmental impacts of 90% of new goods, including CO2 emission, increase the utilization of sustainable materials by boosting recyclable, renewable, and recycled contents, and increase the remanufacturers and rebuild sales by 30%. They also decreased the greenhouse gas emission by 15% through a 50% of renewable electric supplies and energy effectively excellent, as well as rising recycling to 85% of the waste. Another example is Unilever, a global cleaning R&D product producer, announced today that it will substitute all fossil food drive relief carbon in its cleaning and r and products formula with the renewable and recycling carbon. The program Clean Future is unique in its goal to lower carbon emissions by incorporating circular economy ideas into packagings and produce formula at the worldwide scale. Unilever's goal to achieve net zero emission from its good by 2039 depends on the future clear. I also estimate that this will 
this program will cut the carbon footprint to of produce composition by up to 20%. And here is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. And